All right, so this video is gonna talk you through how to uh, turn your pen on the lathe. Uh, you would have already completed your three sketches. Um, remember, make sure that you've grayed out either side. I would check this. You're gonna choose your favorite pen design, and then you're gonna move on to uh, working with the lathe. So as a reference, there's directions down at the bottom. So if you forget any of these steps, uh, you can always look back on this paper uh, to remind yourself. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Uh, you're gonna start by taking your blank that you glued up and you're gonna lock this into the lathe. So remember um, this banjo, this is the piece that moves. This piece moves back here. There's these different handles that lock things into place. So you would already have these openings on either end. You're going to lock that in, slide this over to meet the other side, and then tighten this handle down make sure that's secure so right now this spins freely without engaging that motor we need to make sure that that is locked in place so we're going to rotate this tailstock you're going to have to really twist that till it locks in to the spur center okay so see now when i spin this the drive moves worth it with it Okay, your tool rest, remember you're gonna want to make sure that it's parallel with that piece. Also be aware that right now this is a square. So you need to make sure that it cle the blank clears that tool rest. Okay, all the way across. What you can do is you can use the thickness of that tool to kind of gauge that distance. So you want about a quarter of an inch or so and then you're gonna tighten that up. Okay, make sure everything's secure before you get started. Okay, you're gonna run your speed all the way up and you can turn it on. Okay, remember when you are using this um, roughing cutter, the square cutter, okay? The bottom of the cutter is flat, it goes down on top of that tool rest and you can work the way back and forth. Okay, I hold my right hand on the back of the handle my left hand runs up close for more control, holding that down to the tool center so it doesn't chatter or things like that. Okay. When everything looks good, everything's locked in place, nothing's moving, you can go ahead and turn it on and start to uh, round over that blank. Okay, you gotta make sure this plugged in. Um, also remember that when you're running this, Okay, take your time. Um, and also don't work too close to those centers. stops like that usually what that means is this tailstock is not tight enough let's try to tighten that up a little bit if you need help let me know make sure it runs So right now I've completely rounded over the center of this blank. Notice how I've not gone to the ends where those centers, those centers are. The difficult part about this project is you have to visualize what your pen design is gonna look like on your blank, okay? So you're kind of sculpting um, and carving away a little bit at a time to achieve your final shape. Okay, so take your time. Remember, you can always remove more, but you can't put the material back if you go too far.
once I get that round a little bit closer to what I'm looking for, I'm gonna start to kind of shape the end and those different features. Okay, so I have a rounded end. It's a good important thing to have this drawing close by so you know what to work with. You can also start to switch to your different tools. Okay, the diamond cutter, or the rounded cutter, uh, if you want. design try not to go too far okay make sure that you're not taking it too close to the center because it can break um, right now my pen is a little bit thicker than my design so I can slowly start to remove a little bit more as I go
have the shape of your pen down, you're ready to start sanding. To sand, you might loosen that banjo, that tool rest, get that out of the way. Get your sandpaper. Sand on either side. that sandpaper in half. back to help kind of smooth things out. Your pen's pretty much done. You can also do it a technique called burnishing. You can use a stick, turn the speed down a bit. You're gonna put pressure from the stick underneath. And that'll help polish that piece. Watch out for that piece on the end. And you're done. You can loosen the tailstock. And then take your pen out. This can be cut off the ends and your pen's ready to go.